you're not already using Google Ads call extensions, this can be a great way to increase the lead flow and conversion rates of your ads in general. So let's talk about how these work, how to set them up, the benefits of call extensions, all that good stuff. I just did a quick search for an example here, plumbers near me. You can see this first ad obviously has a call extension where we could just go ahead and click to call. You'll find that the call extensions tend to be a lot more prominent on mobile devices. Because if I try to click to call this, it's not really going to do anything right now because I'm on a computer. So this will show up um, somewhere around the ad. Usually on a mobile device, it will take up like the whole, it'll be like a big banner. and It'll be really obvious. So you'll get a lot more clicks on mobile. But you'll notice that there's no call extensions on these other ads here. So this definitely makes this ad stand out. It also makes the ad a little bit larger. So this ad takes up a little bit more space on the page than these four or these three ads down here. And the more space that your ad takes up on the page, the higher your click through rate, the more conversions you'll get, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? So it's going to benefit you in part by making your ad more clickable and in increasing your click through rates and user experience and everything. But it's also going to give you the option to have people just click and call you right from here without even needing to, to click through to your website. We find this works extremely well with something that's emergency driven or very time sensitive. So plumbing services would be a good example of this. Like if you have a leaky pipe, you don't, you don't really care about checking out their website and all of this other crap. You just want to call them and get help right away. You know what I mean? So for, you'll find that call extensions work better for some businesses than they will for others. Now, when you're in your Google Ads account, you'll f uh, this is the new um, user interface. You'll be able to switch between the old user interface and the new interface here. Uh, but once you're in your Google Ads account, you'll want to make sure to select a campaign. I guess you could do this from the account level too, um, but you'll just need to navigate over to Assets. So in, in assets, and you'll see the level right here, you can add assets at the ad group level. You can also add them at the campaign level, or you can add them at the account level. If you want to add them at the account level, you would select all campaigns right here. And then you can go in and add it to all the campaigns, basically the entire account. If you select a campaign right here, then when you click this add button, it's going to add it to the campaign. And if you had an ad group selected up here, it would add it to the ad group. Now you can, of course, change those selections, but you can see we already have our call extension added right here. That is going to allow us to have our phone number show up and be clickable right on our ads, just like this, right? And if we edit this, we can see this is basically what it looks like when you go to create a call extension. And there are just a couple of things it's going to allow you to do here. You can enter the phone number and then you'll see that display here. So this is what I was talking about where it looks, this is kind of how it looks on a mobile device where there's this banner at the bottom where it takes up a large portion of the ad. Um, and we can choose the conversion action. So from this one, we're doing calls from ads. We could use the account level two. And then there's going to be some advanced options. This is kind of cool. We could just have our call extension show up during regular office hours. So when people are actually able to answer the phones, right? And in some businesses, you know, it may not make any sense to have a call extension show up unless somebody is available to answer the phone, right? So you can make that selection here. You can choose when you want this extension to be showing on your ads. And then you can choose how you want it to be associated. So we have this one set up on three different campaigns right now. Um, and then of course you can click save from here. And you know, that's essentially how you would edit the call extension. To set it up is pretty straightforward too. I'd have to unselect this real quick, but I just click this um, plus button right here and then click call extension. And it's going to be the same thing, essentially, only this time we're going to be able to determine whether we want it to show up for all of the campaigns in the account, just a specific campaign or a specific ad group within that campaign. 
Now, once you've actually gone through and set up your call extension, it's important to note the data that's going to appear over here because it, it can be a little bit confusing at times. I actually don't have the uh, conversions column in here right now, so we can't really see this um, basic information about conversions right here. But having added that in here now, you'll see that there's going to be some different data. So we can see the conversions here, the cost per conversion, etc. But these, these uh, data points are kind of confusing because a conversion in this case, this is a callout extension and there's no way for somebody to even click a callout extension. So this two conversions from this callout extension basically just means that of the times when your ad showed and had this extension on it, the ad itself got two conversions. So if you see that there's like five conversions from the call the call extension, that doesn't necessarily mean that you had five phone calls that came through. It really just means that of the times that your ad showed with the call call extension, you ended up getting however many conversions. If you want to know how many phone calls you're getting from the extension, I do believe that there is a column for that. Just search for phone. So we can add phone calls in here. And that's going to show us the actual number of phone calls that come from the call extension. So that's important thing to note that just because you have like 10 conversions from your call extension doesn't mean you got 10 phone calls from the call extension. You'd want to check these phone calls here and that's going to give you a much better assessment of how many phone calls you actually got. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of how to add call extensions to your Google ads or anything of that nature, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.